All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting out here in a Freedom Shack. I just got back from my very first USPSA match. But this time I used the PCC, the 8R9 from Palmetto State Army. Now, I tell you what, it performed flawlessly. Went through 200 rounds, not an issue. Uh, the only issue that I had, and this is self-inflicted, was if you remember the review I did on the AB Arms, uh, what do you call this, Urban Sniper Stock. I love it. Uh, it did real good. And for all the guys with beards out there who are concerned about this, let me snag your beard. No. But the problem it was is I never put Loctite on that tightening screw. And that happened during the last stage. So, no big deal. Uh, suck it up, drive on, man. Finished up. Did great. Uh, I, the rifle did great. I did horrible. As usual, I uh, left a couple uh, targets not engaged. There was at least five of them on one stage. Uh, typical KB fashion, but in any case, met the guys over there at uh, Taco Power Factor, and uh, I can't remember the exact name of it, but whoa, what a great group of folks. The range officers did a great job. Everybody, that organization down there is awesome, and it was at the Low Country Shooting Sports Facility or something. They're hosting the South Carolina State Match there. Beautiful facility, but uh, in any case... Just want to let everybody know about my day. All right, so why are we talking to you right now? Well, guys, I had to almost wait an entire day because I was literally so hot about this. Uh, got a good friend, Jared. Uh, Guns and Gadgets is the name of his channel. And for you guys who don't follow him, um, please feel free. Guns and Gadgets. He's, he is one of those kind of guys. That his channel is solely... Um, his sole purpose is to share information with you guys as it relates to the Second Amendment. My channel's a gun channel. His is a Second Amendment channel, which means that we have a lot in common. But he was talking about how Vermont, Middlebury uh, Union Middle School, I believe is the name of it. I don't have all this in front of me, and I'm just on memory of what I listened to yesterday. There were two kids in this elementary school. Now, listen to this. This is going to blow you away if you haven't already heard the story. In any case, two kids sitting in the bathroom were talking about how they wanted to shoot somebody. They had a hit list, and... They were going to shoot everybody they had to in order to get this guy killed or whatever. Another kid overheard it. He went reported it to uh, his family or parent. And kudos to him, man. If you guys see something, say something. It's what helps people keep people alive. But what follows suit to what this young person did by telling his parents, the parents called the authorities, here's where it happened. The red law... Uh, <laughs> Uh, at its best, or at its wildest, at its craziness, and it's totally in unbelievable. Okay, imagine this. You are sitting there, and the police come to your door and say, you have firearms, and we're here to seize your firearms. And you don't have any reason, you don't have any knowledge why. <clears throat> this is what happened. The one kid said, I can get guns. My uncle, I know he has guns. So what happened then was the police found out the story. The two children, or the two kids that were in middle school, are apprehended. They are already apprehended. They are at, a middle, or at the hospital doing a psych evaluation. They are in custody, okay? Yet the police do a severe risk warrant, or whatever you call it, um, red flag, and they go to the guy's uncle's house. And they seize his guns because the one kid said, I know my uncle has guns. We can get it from him. Now, what in the hell is going on with the, the uh, a district attorney to go ahead or a judge who would even authorize such a thing to go to a person's uncle's house who is not knowledgeable about anything and seize his firearms based on the fact that he has a nephew who is going to, at one point in time, plan on stealing guns from his home. So what does this do? This opens up an entire avenue of different frame of thinking. First of all, Vermont's red flag law says the person either has to have intent to buy, intent to own, or owns the firearm. Not a distant family member. So what are we going to do next? Somebody wants to go to a gun store, says, are they overhear him? I'm going to steal all the guns or a gun from this gun store. 
So what do we do? We're going to issue these guys a red flag law and, and seize all of their firearms because in fear that this one jackass is going to steal a gun? Better sense in this whole thing would have been the police go, hey, listen, your nephew is nuts and he's planning on shooting this place up, so make sure your guns are secure to where they are under your control at all time. No! They just went ahead and decided, we're going to seize your guns. And this goes back to what Jared said a long time ago, is basically the red flag law not only pertains to the person who owns the gun, but pertains to anybody who now, under that household, or under that one roof, but from any roof. It's got out of hand. This is bullshit, and they know it. So anyway, guys, that's it. That was my rant. Guess what? Thanks, Jared, for being a, a, an awesome guy and sharing the news as soon as it comes out, man. I love it. And I hope you don't mind that I did this. But, buddy, this got me so fired up yesterday. It's unbelievable. Frank, I wasn't able to read your email that you sent me. I apologize. But guess what we're getting ready to do here? I, ladies and gentlemen, am getting ready to celebrate my 50th birthday. It's actually tomorrow, but... My wife is having a, a, a surprise birthday party for me. I'm very excited. So Team Taco Power Factor, I am looking forward to shooting with you guys again. Next week, we're shooting with Team Train Wreck. We're going to be doing a nighttime three-gun. And on the following day, we're going to be shooting the 1,000-yard, uh, and we're going to attempt the one-mile shoot. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Guys, please leave your comments down below. Let me know how fired up this makes you feel. This is unconstitutional, and some district attorney and some judge who issued this warrant need to have their asses removed, and somebody needs to get their shit sued. Woo! Let's go to Boy 32. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so, because this is the kind of stuff we're going to get involved in. Y'all don't want me covering the news. Oh, hell no. Anyway, it's been a long day. Got a long night coming up. You guys be good. I'm out.